it is critical that the CBI projects encompass a, a ratio of foreign to local workers. And in so far for our company, our ratio is now at 70-30. local, 30% Chinese. 90%, I would say, of our, our supplies come from, from local suppliers. Supporting investors who have expressed interest to come out to the university town. At the moment, we have two in the UK, mm -hmm. we have one in Canada, and we have three in the US. So they're all gonna come to Grenada, mm -hmm. look at the site, look at Grenada itself as an investment um, place. There won't be any competing with St. George's University. Our country has a very long-standing relationship with St. George's University and our government and officials, they honor that. And we too, because what we want to do is to build, not divide. One of the thrusts that was articulated, that was placed in front of, of, our, of our company when they negotiated with our government is the, the, the development of STEM. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And those are the kind, those are the areas we want to go out into. Out at Mount Hartman, we probably have our largest national park. The national dove, that's a treasure. The wetlands as well has to be preserved. To that end, we have established a fund. It is the Hartman Education Conservation Fund. Already we have put in $100,000 into that fund, just initially. And what that fund is going to do is to ensure that we maintain the park in its original state. Nothing gets, you know, they are going to define just how far we come, how close, whatever. They are going to manage that. The cost of the project overall, like I said, is phases a, a three to eight year period. I would say so far we have spent between six to, to, to eight million dollars. The main challenge we have had as a business and, as an, uh, and from the investment front as well has been because of the pandemic. We are behind. We can safely say we are about a year behind as to where we started. In earnest, um, in terms of the new development, Hartman Education Enterprise, uh, they became the new investors of this project in uh, sometime late last year. Then we, gave, we got to March and we had our first lockdown. Then we reopened, we started again, we hired people again, started to do the showroom, started to do excavation where we got to August. And there we were again. Our showroom was estimated to be completed and delivered by December. That is next month. As you can see, that's not gonna happen. So we have to set new timelines. So I would say the pandemic has set us back. What it has done as well is give us an opportunity to, re to refocus on, on some things. Because as you are aware, the world has changed, not just for us, for investors too. And so we've had an opportunity to do some things that I believe is beneficial to the project overall, for its long-term sustainability and for its profile.